There are many engineering challenges on this project. One that really interests me is the fact we've got a very small package in the Duke, it's a city car, and we're trying to pack a huge amount of technology in it. One of the things that people probably don't realise about GTR is the amount of electronics and computing power that the GTR has got to make it go as fast as it goes. There are three areas of key technologies that we'll be utilising in the Duke R. Uh, the first is the four-wheel drive system that has the traction control and stability control and most importantly the torque vectoring system. Torque vectoring is the way of controlling each wheel individually so that the car is both stable and maximises the performance available. The second is the touchscreen driver interface which gives you the gauges, the G-meter, all the boost dials and everything else is user configurable along with the sat-nav and the entertainment system. And finally, there's the boost and engine control. We will be creating a design study with the GTR, where we'll be utilising a GTR powertrain, shortening by 250 millimetres, and then using a test facility to then run the car, instrumented, and then analyse the data to make sure that the results are positive. The changes in order to fit the GTR running gear into a Duke will require the entire floor pan to be removed and the whole thing rebuilt from the ground up to pick up all of the GTR uh, mounting points. Once we've established that it will all work, the real business begins to actually start building the Duke R.